What's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Now, I've got a little message for you, and this is not going to be specifically about martial arts. This is going to be about life. This is something I need to put out there for you guys, because if y'all are like anything like me, driven, want to be successful, you can be a little bit hard on yourself. And I'm going to take a wild swing in the dark here for my analytics and say that most of you men out there, and I say men because my channel is like 99% fucking guys, most of you men out there are like me. <clears throat> you watch this channel, especially if you watch it regularly or with any type of regularity. You are a fighter. You are a warrior. And you want to always be doing better. You want to always be succeeding, taking ground, pushing forward. But you know what you need to do? I'm going to tell you straight up because I've been talking with a lot of my buddies lately. And a lot of my buddies are like me, driven, want to succeed, successful in business, relationships, all of this. You need to fucking chill out and stop being so fucking hard on yourself. You need to stop it because you know why? You've come a long way. Realize that over the past few years, every fucking card has been stacked against you. Every fucking card. Every fucking card has been stacked against you. Pandemic, global fucking shutdown of the economy, war, rumors of wars, the sea and the waves roaring. You know what I'm talking about here. Like literally, like we've got, um, I don't know what to call them to beat the algorithm. Um, hmm. Let's just say um, transformers. Okay. You've got transformers like literally going about like, like terrorizing the regular community. You've got all kinds of fucking weird shit happening specifically here in the States, but even overseas in Europe and all that, like literally the cards have been stacked against you. But are you still here? Or number one, are you still alive? Yeah, I think you are because you're watching this right now. Number two, are you still like, do you still have a job? Um, I think probably like most of you guys watching have like you're okay, right? You either have a job still, you have like your shit together still, you're still training in martial arts, whether that's whatever type of martial art your pleasure is, you're doing all right. You're like stable, right? You're not fucking homeless on the street. You're not addicted to drugs. You're not fucking some degenerate like going out there and, and hurting other people like and breaking the law, like if you whatever, but like don't hurt anybody. Don't be some fucking Chaz loser out there talking all about uh, socialism. Give me what you have. Uh. Like you're not one of those types of fucking people. And if you're not, well, I salute you for that because you need to think about this. You are still in the fight. And if you're still in the fight, there is still a chance for you to win. That's it. It's like we talk about if they talk about in, you know, survival and escape and resistance shit, right? Like, <laughs> You're still in the fight. You might be a prisoner temporarily, but you're still in the fight. So act accordingly. Well, no different, right? We may be a prisoner to like the globalists, quote unquote, right now, right? Even though I don't put a lot of stock in that theory, but like the globalists right now or the, the powers that be have us in a bad situation. The fucking current administration is incompetent and doesn't even know what fucking day it is. They're committing crimes left and right. Like, it's the worst situation we could probably possibly be in, almost. We're, like, two steps away from World War III any given second of the day right now. And you know what? You're still here. You're still living. You're still breathing. You've still got, like, some resources available to you. I applaud you for that. And you need to, like, stop being so fucking hard on yourself. Guys like me, guys like you, we're hard on ourselves all the time. Oh, I could be doing better. You know, I could have done this better. I should be doing this more. I could be making more money. I could be, you know, whatever, right? I could be winning more fights if I try. Like, yeah, I saw a fucking funny meme the other day. Some One of my boys sent it to me. And it was when the demons follow you home from the gym. And it was some guy trying to sleep. And a demon was sitting next to him saying, we both know you didn't train hard enough today. And that's how I feel all the time, right? Like, even though I train three fucking hours a day, I'm doing a I'm MMA shit right now. And I'm trying to... I'm going to get ready to fight, right, eventually at some point. And, like, I train fucking hard, but I'm still going home at the end of the night saying, fuck, like, I could have fucking, I could have jabbed that better. Like, I could have fucking, I could have exploited that opening. I, I fucking suck at takedowns. Like, I'm hard on myself. And I was talking with my boy the other day, and we were out at the club, and he said something. I'm going to leave the details out, but he said a number of things, and I fucking checked him. I said, bro, 
Like, look at yourself. You work for this solid company. You're making money right now. Like, look at these other fucking losers out here. They don't even fucking have, like, money to come to the club. They don't even have, like, women in their life. Like, do, like chill out and stop talking shit about yourself. And he was like, you know, he texted me today. He was like, you know, Will, like, thank you for telling me all that shit because you're absolutely right. And I get really hard on myself, but I needed to hear that. And that's not the only guy that I've talked to lately that was saying that to me, right? Like, iron sharpens iron. And if we don't hang out with guys that are like us, with guys that are driven, that are successful, that want to get more out of life, well, then what are you going to actually get? Iron sharpens iron. Remember that. And if you don't have guys like that in your life, get some. Get teammates, right? Get them. You think the fucking special forces dudes are so like fucking crazy lethal because they go out there and like one guy takes on the Taliban? No, they fight in a team. They fight in a fucking team. And if they didn't have all those guys with them, they'd just be one fucking dude. You don't fucking win if you're one fucking dude. Get some fucking guys around you that will sharpen your shit <laughs> and sharpen their shit, right? This is the most important thing is to realize like, hey, I'm still here. I'm still in the fight. I'm winning. Like, yo, I could still fucking pay my rent. I'm still working. I'm still fucking prepping. <laughs> I'm still fighting. I'm still training. If you're doing all that shit, then you're fucking 10 steps ahead of the crowd. So cut yourself a fucking break, son. <laughs> I say son. So many of you guys are way older than I am. But I, it, it's something that I needed to bring to the attention of like everyone out there in the GFS community and the GFS family. Like, yo, you guys, I, I speak with a lot of you guys on the rig. You guys check in on me. I check in on you. Like we all, it's a community, right? This isn't some fucking YouTube channel where I'm pretending to be some fucking guru. I ain't no guru. I'm a dude that's trying to like do my best with what I got. And like, anyway, I've said this before, but like, I'm in a bad spot. Like I'm, I've got a lot of physical challenges that I'm trying to overcome in my fighting career. Right. But like, yo, I'm just going to overcome that shit. My point from saying that is not to like bring it back to me, but to bring it to the situation at hand is like, yes, we have a lot of challenges. We all have unique, different like things that are playing against us. But are you going to like sit down in your foxhole and wait for the enemy to overrun you and stab you with that bayonet like a bitch? Or are you going to keep fighting? <laughs> are you going to keep fighting and blasting away? And when you're out of ammo, you fucking fix bayonets and you charge those fucking cunts. Like, what type of personality are you? And if you're that type of personality that says victory or death, motherfucker, then you're the type of guy that will succeed. And I guarantee it. And I'm, I'm, I can guarantee that with certainty because you're still here. You're still in the fight. Act the fuck accordingly. Don't be a bitch. Don't be so fucking hard on yourself because it's only hurting you. It's not hurting anybody else. In fact, most of the other people out there that like are not succeeding would like you to be hard on yourself and like you to think to yourself, oh, I'm not doing well because they're not doing well. And they want to fucking see you not do well. So fuck them. Show them all. Show them all exactly how far you come. Show them all exactly how far you're going to go. Show them all exactly what type of man you are. Are you a bitch or are you a warrior? I think, sir or ma'am, that you are a warrior. Act accordingly. Until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. If you want to fucking learn how to fight like a G, check out our website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We can help you with that. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, my friend.